Division's Region 4 nominees for the 2023 Kansas Teacher of the Year Award. We are so honored to be celebrating with you today. This evening is all about recognizing you and your noteworthy accomplishments. Your talent for teaching has been noticed by those closest to you, and today it is time that we share your successes with others. We invite you and encourage you to take advantage of some of the opportunities for professional learning and networking with other outstanding educators this year. You will be receiving invitations to participate in the Kansas Teacher of the Year Leadership Conference and State Awards Banquet in Wichita, which will be September 23rd through 24th of 2022. This is a great day to meet new people and spend time with some of your biggest cheerleaders. The people you get to know through this program will influence your teaching network for years to come. At this time, we would like to recognize several groups of people who support education. First of all, our event sponsors and investors. We would also like to thank our local administrators and school board members, our Kansas State Board of Education members, and the Region 4 leadership team. Nominees, you may recognize some of the faces on this slide. We've been to your houses, we've met on some Zooms, and we have excitedly been planning this event for you. We hope you enjoy this virtual banquet. Security Benefit, a Topeka-based retirement savings and income company, is the chief corporate partner for the Kansas Teacher of the Year program. Since 2000, the company has made an annual contribution of $28,000 to the program, totaling more than $600,000. Funds are used to provide cash awards of $2,000 to each of the eight finalists, cash awards of an additional $4,000 to the Kansas Teacher of the Year, and a donation of $2,000 to each of the four regions to help underwrite award celebration costs. The company employees are involved in the program by serving on the Kansas Foundation of Excellence in Education's Board of Directors, the Kansas Teacher of the Year Steering Committee, and the State Selection Committee. And now I would like to introduce you to security benefit Mark Carr. Mark Carr is an assistant vice president with security benefit. He has been with security benefit for 17 years and currently manages the Western division internal sales team. Mark began his career as an analyst with the Federal Reserve Bank of Kansas City and has 24 years of experience in the financial services industry. Mark and his wife, Maria, reside in Topeka and have three children. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Carr. Good afternoon. It's an honor to be here representing Security Benefit and our commitment to teachers. On behalf of the entire company, I want to offer our sincere congratulations to the 2023 Kansas Teacher of the Year Region 4 nominees. Teachers who love teaching teach children to love learning. At Security Benefit, we have a strong workforce of more than 1,500 talented associates, thanks to teachers at all levels. We have young professionals following their dreams. We have women rising to the top of male-dominated fields. We have bright minds whose ideas are transforming the industry, all thanks to the inspiration of those who taught us all to love learning. Good teachers know how to bring out the best in students and the Kansas Department of Education and the Teacher of the Year program certainly know how to bring out the best teachers. Today's nominees and all teachers represent the best of Kansas, playing critical roles in preparing our youth to become responsible and contributing citizens in a national and global community. 
We at Security Benefit appreciate the power of teachers. We're very fortunate to have strong partnerships with both the National Education Association as well as the KNEA. And we have proudly focused on solving the retirement needs of educators for over 50 years. I know I speak for all of my colleagues when I say congratulations to the nominees and thank you for your commitment, passion, and dedication to preparing young minds for the future. Thank you and congratulations again. Thank you, Mark, and Security Benefit for your support of Kansas teachers. Next, we would like to introduce you to the Acting Kansas Commissioner of Education, Craig Nyanswander. Dr. Craig Nyanswander was named Acting Kansas Commissioner of Education by the Kansas State Board of Education in March of 2022. In his role as the state's Chief Education Officer, Dr. Nyanswander provides leadership to the Kansas State Department of Education in carrying out the policies and programs established by the State Board. Prior to being named Acting Commissioner, Nyan Swander served as Deputy Commissioner, Division of Fiscal and Administrative Services. Dr. Nyan Swander also served as a liaison for the State Board of Education to the Kansas Legislature. He began his education career as a high school math teacher in the early 1980s. He was a school administrator for 11 years with Riley County, USD 378, first as a principal and then as a superintendent. Nyan Swander also served 12 years as superintendent of schools for Iola, USD 257. He joined KSDE in 2011 as director of school finance. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Nyan Swander. Thank you, Tracy, and, and good afternoon, everyone. It is truly an honor to be here today to recognize and celebrate our extraordinary teachers in Kansas. On behalf of the entire state, congratulations to each of the Kansas Teacher of the Year nominees. You have been selected by your districts as being among the best of the best. There is no greater honor than to be recognized by your peers. So just let that sink in for a moment. You are selected by those who see you in action every day as being among the best of the best. That is high praise indeed. You didn't earn this distinction simply by showing up with a class roster and a lesson plan every day. You earned this distinction by investing your heart and soul into helping shape the future of Kansas. Understanding that sometimes you may be the only person who looks that child in the eye every day the only person who sees the potential in that child. And you're driven by your passion to help that child discover that potential for himself or herself. You are a game changer for your students. You see beyond the classroom, beyond the textbooks, the computers and the assessments to know that the work you do every day would be meaningless without relationships. You demonstrate to your students and to your peers that you genuinely care about them, about their families, and about their futures. You celebrate their successes, you lift them up when they fail, and you feel every bit of the hurt when they hurt. Why? Because without relationships, without your passion, without humility, and without heart, what is there? You know that academics are absolutely important, but alone, academics will not ensure success. It's what you do, how you do it, and why you do it. That's what makes the difference for our students. Students must feel a connection with you, must see you never give up, must see you follow through on promises, and they must see you fail and get back up. And when they do, the sky is the limit so that they can and will be inspired to accomplish. Because when they do, Kansas will lead the world in the success of each student. So today I offer not only my congratulations to each of these outstanding nominees for Teacher of the Year, I offer my thanks to all educators. Thank you for striving for excellence in and out of the classroom 
and thank you for investing in the future of our children. Now I have the honor and the privilege to introduce the 2022 Kansas Teacher of the Year, Suzanne Stevenson. Suzanne is a fourth grade teacher at Beeson Elementary School in Dodge City and has taught for seven years. Suzanne has authored and been awarded several grants that bring diverse and authentic learning experiences to the students in her building. She has a love of working with bilingual and newcomer students. Her passion for equal opportunities and high standards of achievement for each student guided her to further her education so she could better serve the diverse populations of her community and school. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your 2022 Kansas Teacher of the Year, Suzanne Stevenson. Thank you so much everyone for having me here today. I am so excited to get this, to share this moment with all of my fellow teachers of the year from across the state. Honestly, I cannot wait for the moment that I get to meet you all in person at the Kansas Leadership Conference in September and so that we can celebrate together. I want you to take a moment and remember what got you to this place. It's likely your endless dedication to the many aspects of our profession that has brought you where you are today. Your advocacy for students, families, and your colleagues knows no bounds. For this, we see you and we celebrate you. I'm so honored to be a Kansas educator because I get to work alongside teachers like you who continually lift up our profession. When I was in your position last year, I remember all of those what if questions that I was asking myself. What if my Wi-Fi goes out and I just miss everything? What if I still have food in my teeth from lunch? What if I don't hear my name called? What if I do have my name called? I don't have anything prepared. <laughs> what if I'm not ready for this? Or what if this experience is exactly what I needed, but I didn't know it at the time? All of those emotions and questions are perfectly valid. If you haven't heard it yet, let me be the first to tell you, you are exactly where you are meant to be. This experience is for you and you deserve this opportunity. No matter the names that we call today, we are going to forever be connected as Kansas Teachers of the Year. Throughout the next year, you will come to learn that being a part of this K-Toy cohort will bring so much joy, connection, and opportunity into your life. And I think it's safe to say that from myself, my former Kansas Teachers of the Year, and from our Region 4 finalists, Lori Tezius and Kristen Salazar from my year 2022, we congratulate you on this honor and welcome you to the Kansas Teacher of the Year family. I'll turn it back over to Tracy because I cannot wait to hear how incredible each and every one of you is. Thank you, Suzanne, for making us all so proud to be Kansas teachers. Now, please welcome Kathy Jones and Diane Smokorowski, who will introduce the elementary Kansas Teacher of the Year nominees. Thank you. Our first nominee is Carrie Bryant, fifth grade, Lowell Elementary, USD 465, Winfield. Research projects are an integral part of Carrie Bryant's classes. She has found that when students have more choices in their own learning, they take more ownership and are highly engaged. Carrie's principal acknowledged this and remarked that students in her room thrive as independent thinkers and problem solvers. A parent of a current student noted that Carrie is available, organized, and attentive to individual needs and circumstances. Her impact is felt beyond her classroom walls as Mrs. Bryant is a valued mentor to other teachers and in the words of her principal, a true model of an exceptional educator. Congratulations, Carrie. Connor Christensen, Apollo Elementary, Goddard, USD 265. I love school now. Mr. C has changed my life. 
is precisely how his current student described Connor Christensen's class. The student's parents concurred and noted that Connor takes a sincere interest in the development of each and every child's well-being. Connor's work to get a kindergarten readiness camp started has had a huge impact on the Goddard community. Regarding the concept of kinder prep, the assistant superintendent noted that Connor had a big dream and stopped at nothing to achieve it. Connor's principal observed that Mr. Christensen is a professional that puts students and families at the forefront of every decision he makes. Congratulations, Connor. And DeCare, second grade, Park Hill Elementary, USD 260 Derby. When you visit Andy Care second grade classroom, you will see collaboration, communication, critical thinking, and creativity. Her students are looking to the future as they code and also honoring the past as they create Veterans Day projects. Throughout all of this, and takes the time to build relationships, so sorry, and teaches them how to communicate. Her involvement in multiple committees makes her a leader among leaders. While her principal states that Mrs. DeCare has a love for learning that she has instilled in her students. As an administrator, I can see the lasting impact that she has left on each individual student in her classroom. Congratulations, Anne. Kendra Diaz, Maith, Mays South Elementary, Mays, USD 266. Fraction, Frank's Pizzeria, Flat Kendra Adventures, awards shows, and much more make Mrs. Diaz's cl class the place to be. A parent of a student noted that Kendra's teaching extends far beyond the traditional classroom sense. She not only teaches the students academics, she is teaching them how to be their best selves. Kendra's focus on social emotional learning and exploring ways to connect her students to the community are so vital because as she puts it, the test scores will fade, the projects will be forgotten, but the life skills and character building that we teach and model will stick with students for a lifetime. Congratulations, Kendra. Mallory Keith, Pre-K, Cheney Elementary, Cheney USD 268. Mallory fervently believes that as an early childhood educator, it is her responsibility to provide students with an education that tr transcends the classroom. It is obvious that she has accomplished this as a parent of two of her former students attests. Mallory has a heart and a gift for the littles. With a focus on play-based learning and immersive activities, such as, such as transforming her classroom into an apple orchard, as well as making numerous connections with the community, Mrs. Keefe knows that when families and educators work together to ensure student success, the powers of possibility are endless. Congratulations, Mallory. Courtney Maddox, Perry Street Elementary, Wichita, USD 259. Relentless positivity. Enthusiastic, inspirational, and energetic are just a few of the words used by Courtney's coworkers to describe her. Courtney reveals that she thrives on connecting students with each other, their families, people in my life, and people in the community. From the Friendsgiving she celebrates with her students to the research project over the area nonprofits to the hot dog costume she's famous for sporting, Courtney has an undeniable impact on the Harry Street Elementary School culture. Her principal may have put it best when she said, Courtney has a talent for infusing others with laughter, confidence, and a sense of value. Congratulations, Courtney. Allison Norris, first grade, Circle Greenwich Elementary, Circle USD 375. 
the picture of a team player, Mrs. Norris is able to bring cohesiveness to any group that she's a part of. Having experience in urban, suburban, and rural schools, Allison jokes that Circle Greenwich Elementary is the Disneyland of schools, the happiest place on earth. She states, it takes a special educator to teach six and seven-year-old learners how to read. It's hard, it is messy, but oh, it's so rewarding. Her goal is helping students see that they matter and that they have an important job to show up, work hard, and treat others right. Congratulations, Allison. Krista Pollock, South Barber, Pre-K through six, South Barber, USD 255. Organized, responsible, conscientious, creative, passionate, and compassionate are a few of the words to describe Krista. She brings excitement to the classroom while fostering a positive learning environment. As family dynamics have changed, students come to school having experienced trauma in their life. Through words and actions, Krista's students realize that they are worthy and valued no matter their background or socioeconomic status. While she enjoys teaching all subjects, math is a priority in her quest to teach and help students understand subject matter. In turn, students work hard to maintain a positive mindset and are willing to persevere when faced with challenges. Congratulations, Krista. Ashley Strom, third grade, Lincoln Elementary, Augusta, USD 402. Morning meetings set the foundation for learning through conversation and activities, building trust and respect in our classroom. It allows us to put each other first, recognizing each other as individuals and creates a team approach. Two former students shared this about Mrs. Strom. She cares about all of the students and she helps all of them. She helps kids matter, no matter how fast or how slow or what way they learn. Their mom also commented, my boys learned how to show and how to challenge themselves. They simultaneously learned that being the smartest or the fastest or the whateverest wasn't what mattered. They learned about difficulties and acceptance. They learned growth mindset. Developing self-confidence in students and their abilities will lead the way throughout life. Seeing this process gives Ashley great joy. Congratulations, Ashley. Tamara Sullivan, St. Mark's School, Renwick, USD 267. Tamara believes all students have special needs, talents, and gifts. Due to tier time limitations, Sullivan implemented extra brain tier time. This allows for further instruction, remediation, and extension activities. Some work in groups while others work independently. Students love being able to lead their own learning. Another passion project was finding a way to strengthen school culture through Fantastic Friday. Tamara had the opportunity to plan an all-day, all-involved day of art. Everyone enjoys this day of a strengthening school culture while creating and crafting. A day for dabbling in art and stepping out of one com one's comfort zone has made Fantastic Friday a huge success. Congratulations, Tamara. Marcy Walton, Early Childhood Special Education, Abilene Elementary, Valley Center, USD 262. Early childhood education and especially special education should be play-based, fun, engaging, hands-on, and presented in a developmentally appropriate manner. This is Marcy Walton's mantra. Others share these attributes. Relationship builder, 
leader, mentor, positive, adaptable, humble, and reflective. Marcy's unique position of teaching early childhood special ed and assisting with struggling behaviors allow for collaboration with the entire building staff. She also serves on learning for impact, guiding staff to use data to better support student growth. A parent states this, I will be forever grateful for Marcy's ability to let my son shine past his struggles. She found his sense of humor, his desire to be a helper, and his heart in her classroom. Congratulations, Marcy. Allison Whitey, fourth grade, Metal Lark Elementary, Andover, USD 385. Being certified in cognitive coaching has opened up potential and possibility for Allison Whitey's classroom. One example is a project-based activity called Passion Project. When given the opportunity to work on something of interest, students reach their fullest potential. A former student writes, she taught me that my weaknesses did not define me and that I could do anything I put my mind to. Students connect with experts in their project field, research and create. Final results vary from a fashion portfolio, serving as serving at an animal shelter, learning coding to create a video game, and designing stop motion animation. Along the way, Allison moves from learning director to facilitator, cheering her students through every step of success. Congratulations, Allison. Thank you, Kathy and Diane, and congratulations, elementary teacher nominees. Now I'd like to introduce Pam Salas and Jane Cawthorn, who will help us get to know our secondary nominees. Our first secondary nominee is Brian Ball, sixth grade social studies, Derby North Middle School, USD 260. Colleague Brent Wolf uses the baseball metaphor, keep your eye on the ball, Mr. Ball that is. The way Mr. Ball pitches lessons and delivers Grand Slam creative projects is fascinating. Mr. Ball delivers powerhouse lessons that students remember for years. Mummifying chickens, creating mud houses, primitive building and weaponry, to name a few. Championing for coworkers, standing up for students, and creating opportunities for the underprivileged are commonplace for Mr. Ball. He sees education as a dynamic, fluid institution, ever-changing with the times, whose design is to develop students and staff into better versions of themselves for the benefit of the world. Congratulations, Brian. Mindy Barr, Robotics, Computer Science, and Leadership. Goddard Middle School, USD 265. Addressing the social and emotional learning needs of students has been my passion, writes Ms. Barr. Students need to know that they are heard, seen, and are truly cared for. She quotes Theodore Roosevelt, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Not only modeling the value of relationships with her students, Ms. Barr is a supportive resource for her colleagues. She empowers the staff to follow her lead, giving support, encouragement, and resources to ensure their success. Principal Lisa Hogarth states, for one teacher to follow her passion is honorable. For that teacher to encourage others to have that same passion and commitment is powerful and impactful. Congratulations, Mindy. Brenda Beecher, grades 7 through 12 science, South Barber High School, USD 255. In her 20 years at South Barber High School, Mrs. Beecher has turned a very basic science curriculum into a program that gives students with a high interest in pursuing science as a career more options. New classes were added and countless hours were spent working with students one-on-one -on -one and in small groups to build the program. She has developed a rapport with her students, 
but also has taken time to listen to the concerns and comments made by their parents. Superintendent Miller writes, it's no secret that Brenda is one of the children's favorite teachers. I am delighted to see how enthralled the children are in Miss Beecher's classes. Her style of teaching is very animated and captivating. Congratulations, Brenda. Jonathan Belson, seventh and eighth grade Coleman Middle School, USD 259. We can do this together is the mantra of Mr. Belson. To the public whom schools serve, we say, students don't need another program or more money. They need a caring individual who desires to see them succeed and will bend over backwards to support them. To the educators who serve, bloom where you are planted, be your student's hero. To the students who matter most, expect nothing but the best for yourselves. It can't only be the work of teachers to educate. Students cannot simply try harder and communities cannot pour enough resources into schools on their own. We must do this together to reap the ideal results. Congratulations, Jonathan. Jim Gillette, grades seven through 12 mathematics, Cheney Middle High School, USD, 268. Mr. Gillette's 35 year goal as a mathematics teacher has been to debunk the myth that math class is boring by making humor, hard work, and relevance the norm. Creative math projects include laying the groundwork for an automatic sprinkler system or putting a chain link fence around a yard using applied geometry and other math skills. He also assigns a gym court project where students have to draw a gymnasium to scale, choose the materials used, and stick to a budget. Besides the typical mathematic parts, his projects always include an artistic component, a research portion, and presenting parts. Creativity is required. Needless to say, Mr. Gillette's students do not ask, why do we have to learn this? Congratulations, Jim. Cheyenne Holiday. Grades nine through 12, Agriculture Education, Andale High School, USD 267. Every year, writes Holiday, I have students that don't come to school because no one is making them and they have nothing at school that holds them accountable. I believe building relationships with students and getting them involved in something bigger than themselves is the most basic step to students being successful. When students are involved in activities outside of the classroom, they become a part of the team and learn to work with other students. They learn that someone and something values them and needs them to be present. Mrs. Holliday has developed an FFA agriculture program, which does just that. Congratulations, Cheyenne. Matt Ingram, nine through 12 health education, Circle High School, USD 375. Mr. Ingram believes that knowledge must have two critical components, real world application and human connection. In the age of Google searching, Amazon shopping, immediate communication and real-time feedback on social media, the idea that you might use this information later is simply outdated. Attention spans are short and expectations are high in our students for their education to be relevant right now. His health curriculum includes nutrition, social media, self-defense, first aid, healthy relationships, mental health, stress, man stress management, and addition. Each topic provides tools that are readily available for students to make an immediate informed decision regarding their own personal health. Congratulations, Matt. Julie Rosenquist, English Social Studies, Flint Hills High School, Middle School USD 492. 
For her Age of Discovery unit, Ms. Rosenquist plans an in-depth study of this era, starting from researching explorers and including the study of wind and ocean currents, latitude and longitude, compasses, items needed on a voyage, to constructing replicas of ships. She utilizes Garner seven intelligences in her lesson plans to engage different learning styles. In addition to the course study, she assists students with the steps involved in both job searches and applications. In addition, she encourages students to make college visits and apply for scholarships. She has been applauded for her commitment to excellence with her instruction and her uncompromising efforts to provide a high quality education for her students. Congratulations, Julie. Audra Sheelight, Art Avid, Augusta Senior High School, USD 402. The mood board is a classroom tool used by Ms. Sheelight, Augusta's high school art and avid teacher to help students hone their visual ideas at the start of a creative project. It enables the artist to gain a clear vision to help them stay focused throughout the art making and critique process. Not only does exhibiting student artwork give exposure to their talents, but it enhances a sense of pride in her students. It fosters a deeper sense of appreciation of the arts and inspires additional creativity. According to her administrator, Ms. Sheelight's tremendous enthusiasm, initiative, and innovation in leading students through the learning process make her a standout in the profession. Congratulations, Audra. Jessica Schertz, Science, Mays High School, USD 266. Academic rigor, as well as love, compassion, and empathy for students describe Jessica Schertz's science classroom. She is known for clarifying difficult concepts by building a picture model in a student's head, allowing them to understand a foundational concept and applying it to new problems. Her teaching methods have been shared with colleagues who witnessed her successes. Although she was initially interested in pursuing another career avenue, Ms. Schertz knew that she was always, uh, she always found joy being with kids. Her interactions with youth extend beyond the classroom. She maintains that her zeal for teaching has never been about recognition, but about helping kids realize their potential and encouraging <laughs> them to find their passion in life. Congratulations, Jessica. Brian Skinner, Fed teacher, Mason High School, USD 373. Brian Skinner is a special education teacher at Newton High School. Student skills emphasized in his classroom are to know their own opinions and beliefs on a given topic, to be able to understand why they have those beliefs, and to be able to understand why others have beliefs that might be different from their own and to become lifelong learners. He serves as a project search IEP case manager. Mr. Skinner is described as a data guru, utilizing it to improve student learning in his classroom. He is a master of creating and supporting a classroom which emotionally and physically enables students to function and remain engaged in their work. Congratulations, Brian. Ty Unrau, Social Science and Coach, Valley Center High School, USD 262. The sights and sounds and aromas of the coffee shop classroom delight and invite students to the world of learning at Valley Center High School under Ty Unrau's instruction. It's a space where students may take risks in a safe environment, explore controversial topics, and practice empathy and respect while covering content. The practice of civil discourse, digital literacy, and the skills of empowerment aid in constructively impacting the total student. He uses a student-centered transformational approach nearly every day. He is described as a visionary whose energy and enthusiasm are unparalleled. Furthermore, furthermore Ty Unrell is a teacher who loves to coach instead of a coach who has to teach. 
Congratulations, Ty. Andrew Williams, Art, Winfield Middle School, USD 465. If we don't enjoy teaching, students will not enjoy learning, affirms DeAndrew Williams. Ms. Williams has been described as quirky, charismatic, relatable, and is willing to sing or dance to grab the attention and motivate learners. The practice of social and emotional learning through art ensures the transcendence of education from the classroom. This team player effectively utilizes praise and differentiated instruction. Competitions at various levels provide her students and her community the opportunity to acknowledge and award their work. Her message is to demonstrate gratitude to those who have gone before us and accept the responsibility to build a foundation ensuring that exceptional teaching continues. Congrat congratulations, Deandra. Thank you, Pam and Jane, and congratulations to all of our secondary nominees. It is my pleasure to ask Acting Commissioner Craig Nineswander and Suzanne Stevenson to announce the names of the 2023 Kansas Teacher of the Year finalists. Each finalist will say a few words, so if your name is called, please unmute your audio. Hey, Tracy, right before we get to the finalists, I'm oh. going to, it's okay. I'm going to announce the semi-finalists. We're just so excited. We want to know. I was just, yes. Jump the gun. Okay. So we're going to announce these semi-finalists. All right. So for elementary, we will have three semi-finalists. And so in no particular order, here we go. Carrie Bryant, Winfield, USD 465. Yay, Carrie. All right, our next elementary semifinalist is Connor Christensen, Goddard, USD 265. Yay, Connor. And our last elementary semifinalist is Mallory Keith. Cheney, USD 268. Congratulations to our elementary semi-finalists. And now we will move on to our secondary semi-finalists. So again, we'll have three of those. Our first secondary semi-finalist is Mindy Barr, Goddard, USD 265. Our second semi, secondary semifinalist is Jim Gillette, Cheney, USD 268. And our last secondary semifinalist is Brian Skinner, Newton, USD 373. Congratulations to the three secondary semifinalists. And now, Tracy, take it away. <laughs> Yay! Hey, let's try this again. It is now my pleasure to introduce Craig Nyanswander and Suzanne Stevenson, who will announce the names of the 2023 Kansas Teacher of the Year finalists. Each finalist will say a few words. So if your name is called, please make, to, make sure to unmute your audio. All right, thank you, Tracy. And we will proceed with the Region 4 Elementary finalists for the 2023 Kansas Teacher of the Year. And our finalist comes to us from USD 268, Mallory Keith. Congratulations, Mallory. And we'll give you a moment or two to catch your breath, and then you get to share a few thoughts <laughs> yeah, with I was us. No, I was expecting that. Oh my gosh. Um, wow. Thank you. <laughs> Um, wow, sorry, give me just a second. I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> um, this is truly an answered prayer for me. Um, when I went to Wichita State, I remember the K-Toy team coming and talking to me and I told myself, I said, wow, I want to be on that team someday. Um, I mean, they were empowering and, um, motivating and it just made me so excited to enter the field of education. 
And um, so I'm truly honored to have been nominated, but um, let alone be a regional winner. Um, I'm so thankful for my past and current coworkers and administrators that have helped mold me into the educator I am today. Um, without their encouragement, constructive criticism and advice, I would not be anywhere near the teacher I am today. Um, I have learned so much in my short time in education. So I feel like they all deserve this just as much as me, if not more. Um, and I'm so thankful for all of my past and present students and their families, um, their encouragement and support over the years. Sincerely makes my job feel like I don't actually work, but I just hang out with a bunch of honorary little three-year-olds all day. <laughs> um, plus they, the parents always go alongside my wild ideas and are always willing to donate time and supplies to um, support our classroom. So I'm so excited for this opportunity to learn alongside other educational leaders who are passionate about teaching kids and cultivating positive relationships with students, families, and communities. Um, and this sounds so cliche, but um, when you love what you do, you it really doesn't feel like work. So thank you so much. <laughs> thank you and congratulations. Suzanne, we'll turn it over to you for the next announcement. All right, I get the honor of announcing the secondary finalist for Region 4. So on our next KTOY team from Region 4, our secondary finalist for 2023 Kansas Teacher of the Year is Brian Skinner from Newton USD 373. Brian, when you're ready, go ahead, unmute, and we're excited to hear from you. All right, wow. So. Thank you all. Um, definitely a surprise. I was not expecting that. Um, I'll make sure I, I thank everyone that has kind of helped me be here. Um, have had a great educational experience as I grew up um, through my, ele uh, my elementary, my middle school and um, high school area, as well as um, great um, mentors to be able to teach me at Bethel College. Um, and then since I've been at Newton, I've just been surrounded by excellent um, educators um, in all facets. Um, I wouldn't be able to be here without them. Um, I want to make sure I thank um, my family and my friends. Um, they don't see me often because I'm always doing things for school and they're always exceptionally supportive um, and can't give enough um, appreciation towards them, um, as well as my administration for nominating me, my teachers for giving me additional um, strategies I can use to work with my students. Um, and then finally, I want to make sure I thank my students that I work with. Um, they're such great kids to work with. They um, keep me coming back each day. They inspire me to work harder to keep um, trying to get them to the next level that they can be. So really excited for the next step and just super honored to be um, to be a finalist. I know there are hundreds of Region 4 um, amazing educators. So I'm, I'm very honored to be um, considered a finalist. Yeah, Brian! Yay, Mallory and Brian. Congratulations, though, to each of our nominees, semifinalists and finalists. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope to see all of the nominees at the September 24th, 2022 banquet when the 2023 Kansas Teacher of the Year is named. Okay, I think we're good, right? We're off live. <laughs> okay. 